Warning! This disclaimer at the beginning of the video is to remind you of how you can download the content you are about to see at these websites listed right here, right now. Please refer to these sources before commenting about where we get our material to make this series. Thank you. Everyone got their assignments? Ten covered hoppers for the plastic plant in San Juan. Got me general goods to interchange via the joint line. Bound for Blue Sky Mine with 25 empties. And returning to Junction City with how many? 45. Good. Everything's in order. I know the workload has been hard on you all for the past few weeks, but I'm proud of you all for coping so well with this season's workload. Keep them rolling. Good thing even Train Master knows how increasing business means much more effort put in. <sighs> I can't wait for the harvesting season when everything winds down. Sure, he's crazy, but knows how to run a railroad efficiently. Except for when to schedule maintenance windows. Hey now, I had to put up with sticking brakes on a bad order car one time. These old friction bearing cars are getting too old for revenue service. Could be worse, mate. That hot axle bearing I got last week almost caused the car to tip over and derail. You want to talk about delicateness? SJ2100, you're clear for the merger. Right, come on, lads. We've got goods that need delivery. Got a good feeling today might be better? Eh, wouldn't hurt. He's got the right attitude. So, with the three trains and Amtrak Southwest Chief all scheduled to pass through, we'll have it cleared up for you in about three hours. Nothing time sensitive in those cars, right? No, just general goods. Okay, good. I wonder how Wes is getting on. Hi, Mr. Wesley. What are you doing here so early? Early? What do you mean? You do know that this train is scheduled out at 12 a.m., right? 12 a.m.? You mean midnight? Yes, sir. 12 a.m. midnight, and not 12 p.m. noon, like it said on the waybill! Oh, well, I didn't write the waybill. You'll have to take that up with the dispatcher, I'm afraid. Sorry. What's an engine supposed to do with six hours to spare? Good thing Kent has it easy today. <laughs> well, howdy there, Blaine's boy. You taking it easy with your work, too? As much as the brakes in these cars will let me, this is the fourth time on this run I've had to stop to get them inspected. You're not tying up the railroad, are you? Not like I can help that, but at least at this spot I'm in a siding where traffic can go around me. Yeah, things I'd rather be doing right now. Uh-huh. So, what advice would you have for someone being stuck for six hours until their next assignment? I don't know. Count ties? <laughs> Huh. I thought being held up would have been bad on its own. You sure got the brunt of it. Well, hardships come with any job, but it seems like the ones we've had lately have been getting harder on us. You guys are built for enduring hard work. Couldn't you just go with the flow? You're funny, Dan. You know the train master is not going easy on all of us, right? Well, if he wanted us to start the job on time, he should have let us out on time. 
Whatever works. Well, let's just get some sleep, fellas. Tomorrow's just another day. Afternoon, Grant. Got the hoppers all sorted out for me? All coupled together and ready for departure, Mr. Wesselin. Good. If anything goes wrong today, it better not be from this consist. Nope, but there is trouble from the other cut of hoppers that picked the switch there. Because the West Yard lead is blocked, the cutoff leading down the other side of San Juan is blocked with it. What? So, if you want to get your train, you'll have to use the Y to couple up facing the right way. Some of the overflow cars had to be staged on the old narrow gauge spur, too, so don't forget those. Yeah. Fine. Like another half hour delay is gonna matter. Let's just see how much time I could make up. All clear ahead, Wes. High ball to Trinidad. Oh, well, alrighty then. Throttle up. Howdy, old timer. 
Looks like you made it over here, okay? Woo! Do a mighty fine today. How long have y'all been waiting? Probably about ten minutes, give or take. Now that you're here, you can just add your cut to our train. Sounds good to me. Just drop your caboose and I'll shove these out of the back of you. Oh, uh, actually, we don't use cabooses anymore. You don't? No, sir. Technology has replaced it by the <clears throat> flashing rear end device. You'll see it when we leave. But it's a little thingy thing you stick on the coupler and it relays information about the train both to the head end crew and the dispatcher. Huh. Never thought I'd see the day. When you travel 2,000 miles throughout the country, you pick up on lots of things real quick. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll cut ourselves from our train, pull ahead, then you can just add your cut to the front. Sounds good? Alright, sure. Sounds good to me. Crummy bobber to my train. How did that get there? Good question, Wes. We didn't have it with us when we started out from Junction City. Maybe it's been hiding out of the mine. Probably, but it looks too rickety to use in revenue service. We should take it easy with it going back to Junction City. Agreed. But having made the trip from Blue Sky Mine to here, non-stop, without any trouble is impressive, given how long it may have been sitting. Yeah, it really is. Fancy. Honestly, better than all right. Today was the smoothest it's gone for me in a long time. Well, good. Glad that you enjoyed it. Yep. How long till you join us in the roundhouse? At this rate, 2 a.m. I'm working late. Oh, ain't that a shame. Yes, well, some engines gotta work the extra ball with blue sky. It's nothing I'm not used to, but I just know it's gonna be rougher before it gets better. That's just how it is sometimes. Take it easy out there. We'll try. Take care. a blinking red light on that little coupler. Like, that's gonna be at the end of every train from now on? Well, sure, but Class 1s will try to save money wherever they can. If the technology is good enough and the labor unions don't have an issue with it. But don't they? Because it's now taking less people to operate the train. Who knows? This kind of transition's hard to fathom, but then again, people once thought that us steam engines would keep running forever. Huh. We do here. Ain't that right, Ellis? Eh, uh, whatever you say, Wes. Hmm. Some engines have a little spring in their chuff. Well, let's just say that last night's shift worked out splendidly. 
The hoppers gave me no trouble and the track felt uncannily smooth from start to finish. In fact, the new diesels offered to take my train instead of me having to tow it here. Really now? There was really only one thing amiss. This little red caboose seems to have become stuck with my train. Have you ever seen that before? I certainly haven't. Have you, Wes? As a matter of fact, that crummy found its way onto my train yesterday! Wow, you took that rotting garbage shed all the way to Trinidad with you? I didn't know I had it until I got there! Me and my crew think we might have plucked it out from some forgotten side in that blue sky. And I guess Ben forgot to set it out from Ellis's train for some reason. Sounds like a testament to the builder's workmanship, I suppose. Hey guys, seeing that you enjoyed that bobber so much, is it my turn to take on my train next? My schedule has me listed for a full load of transformers. Go right ahead. Train master was hinting to me that my next train was going to be a safe bet. You knock yourself out, dear boy. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks, friends. So, Wes, you feeling lucky? I reckon I do believe so, if I don't say so myself. Oh, of course I can't keep my thoughts to myself. Now, now, we shouldn't be here too long. It's just the downhill local with Kent, followed by Sydney with the Limited. Sure, that good feeling sure was good while it lasted. You said your next train was a safe bet. It is! They're actual safes! I thought you had a load of Transformers! <laughs> I couldn't make this up if I tried! Seriously! You lucky son of a bitch! Whoa, stop! We have a hot box! Whoa, whoa, what, why are we dumping the air? Won't that make the hot axle bearing worse? No, it's a box that is literally on fire! Oh dear, better sort this out quickly! Grant, go and fetch the fire brigade! Oh, we were doing so well, too! It wasn't your fault, Alice. It's hot outside, and the sun could have cast that refraction from the glasses reflection onto anything. It's not like we started a brush fire. Oh, I suppose we all have rough days. I've been through enough for now. Just take it easy. I already heard about today. I hope you're all right. I'm at worse. What about you? It's been a step above the rest. I've never run so fast in my life without anything going wrong. Mighty fine. I take it you saw how well it went for me? Yeah, I didn't expect brand new safes to be extra heavy. I'm kind of amazed. Sorry about the bad luck. I don't think luck has anything to do with it. My train was empty and stuff still went wrong. You don't think we're cursed, do you? Well... Well, it just feels a little strange how that bobber isn't just bringing bad luck, but the lack of bobber causes rotten luck. Hey, let's not get desperate. We should only use it for vital tasks. I'm guessing you're gonna want to keep that bobber with you for vital tasks tomorrow? <laughs> Actually, I'm going out of service tomorrow for a boiler wash, so you or Ellis can take turns with it. Ah, very kind of you, Kent. We'll take good care of it. You sure about that? Well, seeing how well it has served all three of us over the past few days, 
I think we've got something special in our fleet. Hello there. Thanks for making it to the end of part one of this episode. We weren't planning for this to be a two-parter, but the overall length and effort being put into this is becoming comparable to Moon Railer. A few things to make part two are still coming together, so when that part is finished, we'll be hosting our next live stream at roughly the same time of day and day of the week. We hope to see you all there. Meanwhile, it's probably a good time to announce that, to commemorate reaching 2,000 subscribers, that we're doing another Q&A video. And this time it's with me and Jonathan. If you have anything you're curious about, mark the beginning of your questions with, Hey Brian. Hey John, or Hey Guys, in the comment section below. We look forward to hearing from you guys soon.